Stomach cancer is a frightening diagnosis. As frightening as any other cancer diagnoses, only that it's among the deadliest of all. We hope you've never had it and that you never will. But life happens. If stomach cancer is in any way part of yours, this video is for you. You will learn what cancer of the stomach is, how to detect the symptoms, what the risk factors and causes are, what treatments are available, how to find clinical trials for stomach cancer. What is cancer of the stomach? Stomach cancer is also called gastric cancer, and it's most common in East Asia, South America, and Eastern Europe. It's twice as frequent in men as it is in women, mostly between the ages of 60 and 80. In general, cancer is a disease of cells. Every cell has its coded instructions. These instructions are called genes. Mutations in genes cause normal cells to become cancer cells. They don't grow only when they are needed and refuse to die when old or damaged. They can grow into nearby tissues and travel to other parts of the body. This process is called metastasis. The CDH1 gene mutation has been found to cause stomach cancer. This type of cancer is referred to as hereditary diffuse gastric cancer. Most stomach cancers start from cells in the inner layer of the stomach, which normally makes and releases mucus. These cancers are called adenocarcinomas and represent about 95% of all stomach cancers. The symptoms. You should check with your doctor when experiencing poor appetite, unexplainable weight loss, belly pain, a sense of fullness in the upper abdomen, heartburn, vomiting, or anemia. Most of these symptoms are likely to be caused by things other than cancer, such as a stomach virus or an ulcer. Risk factors. There are factors that can be modified and so gastric cancer can be prevented. Helicobacter pylori is a bacteria in the stomach that causes chronic inflammation or ulcers. If this persists for a few decades, it can evolve into cancer. A high dietary intake of salt, including smoked or pickled with salt food, increases the risk. Smoking is another possible trigger of stomach cancer. Other factors cannot be modified, such as a history of stomach cancer in first-degree relatives, previous medical conditions of the stomach like gastroesophageal reflux, gastric polyps, and previous stomach surgeries are considered prerequisites for gastric cancer too. For unknown reasons, people with type A blood are at a greater risk. However, only 5 to 10 percent of all cancers are hereditary and cannot be prevented. Types of treatment. Surgery. The first step will be to judge whether the cancer is operable, resectable, meaning that it is possible to remove the complete tumor in an operation, or it is unresectable, meaning that an operation is not possible. In such cases, the other treatments are done with the purpose of relieving symptoms and prolonging the patient's lifespan. Sometimes, complete removal of the stomach is the only option for patients. Did you know that thousands of people are living without a stomach? Clinical Trials Currently, there are 349 clinical trials for stomach cancer in the world. They are carefully controlled research studies that are done to get a closer look at promising new treatments. If you need more information about clinical trials that might be available for you, start by asking your doctor. You can also do your own research on Find Me Cure, the Google of clinical trials. Simply go to www.findmecure.com, type stomach cancer in the search field, and discover clinical trials near you and how to participate. In our next video, you will learn more on current treatments for stomach cancer and the ones that are now under development. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Find Me Cure, future treatments within your reach.